Town kids, happy holidays if you've finished school. Hurrah for summer holidays. Really looking forward to seeing lots of you at Holiday Club next week. Into the unknown. I hope you're all remembering what we have been learning about faith. Do you remember that definition? Have a look at it here on the screen. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Well done. So let's start this week by seeing who can remember our memory verse from the month. Pause the video and find out. And if you know it, then we've got raffle tickets for you. Who can come up the front and tell us our memory verse? That's great. Well done. Let's all say it together, shall we? If you've got your Bibles, you might want to open them where you've got it highlighted or maybe you've put a bookmark in there to remind you where it is. Let's say it together. Here we go. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Ephesians 2 verse 8. Well done. Keep practicing at home. And if you can come next week and tell it to us, then there'll be raffle tickets. Okie dokie, you've been super great with our song this month. Let's stand together, let's sing, let's play the instruments and let's praise God together as we sing Moving Me.
wonderful, beautiful sound, fabulous singing. Okay, during the month, we've thought lots and lots about faith, particularly faith during difficult times. Have you managed to bring that to mind this week? When something's perhaps been hard this week, have you been able to choose to continue to trust God and to hold on to faith? Remember, it's a choice to do that. We're reminding ourselves, especially today, that our faith is stronger together. Like lots of things, when we pull together, we are stronger. And that goes for our experience here at Uptown and our faith. Let's take a look at the so-and-so show and see what we can learn from John, Brandon, Kellen as they look at the Bible. We're going to hear a true story from the Bible about when Paul wrote to the Hebrews, Jewish believers in Jesus, encouraging them and reminding them that Jesus is more important than anyone else and to keep meeting together and encouraging each other. Remember, stronger together. Just like we encourage you to do, to keep meeting here with us in Uptown and to keep encouraging each other. Let's take a look at the So and So Show. Welcome to another exciting, totally mesmerizing, world changing, award winning episode of the So and So Show. We won an award, didn't we? No. Oh, well, then everything we said except the award. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And we are in the midst of planning a trip. That's right, we're going on a road trip together. Yeah. We're going to see the sights here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, and the cool thing is we are perfect travel buddies. We mm -hmm. know each other's travel habits. Yep, and they mesh together perfectly. Uh -huh. For instance, the, the best candy to eat while road tripping is beef Licorice. jerky. What? Beef jerky? That's not even a candy. Yeah, it is. It's meat candy. No, never say that again. Well. That's the only thing we disagree on. Oh. Uh, for instance, our favorite game to play in the car is oh, hide I and spy. seek. Hide and seek. We're in a car. How do you hide? <laughs> it's, just, it's easy. You it's... Just... See? You can't find me, Brandon. Brandon, are you looking for me? It's so dark. Brandon. Brandon! Brandon, Brandon, John, Brandon, where? Oh, wow, that was really scary. You are a lousy seeker. You know, I'm starting to wonder if we can actually travel together or not. <sighs> Maybe we should find out. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. <gasps> Virtual Let's play reality the travel box. simulation. Yeah, we got both our ideas smashed together. I thought we were thinking the same thing. This car is not to scale. If we can't travel in a car this tiny, then we can't travel together at all. Okay, fine. So what are we doing? Okay. <clears throat> so here's how we're going to play the game. As we travel in our car. Cardboard box. An announcer will throw out a question, and we have to answer it. The more we get right, the more likely we are to enjoy our time traveling together. And the more we get wrong, the more we should never be near each other in a confined space. Sounds perfectly scientific. Oh yeah, and you should play along too. <laughs> All right, let's play. Question number one. When traveling in a car, who prefers to drive? A, Brandon, B, John, C, autopilot. Well, obviously. Me? What? Come on, switch seats, I'm driving. You, but switch wanna... seats? No, no, I'm driving. Fine. How do we, can't. Switch the seats. Oh! Oh! <clears throat> okay. Ow! 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 Okay. 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 <sighs> okay. Question number two. Which of these snacks does Brandon prefer to eat on a road trip? A. Chips. B. Candy. C. Whole raw onions. Oh, well, I don't really care as long as it isn't the uh... whole raw onions, baby. No. Oh, 
No! I, oh, I can't stand onions. I can't. Why? No! They're so... Uh, there's no window. Question number three. What is John's choice in travel music? A. Pop music. B. Polka music. C. Orchestra warm-ups. Please, please, please be polka, please be polka, please be polka. Question number four. No! Huh? No! Sorry! No more questions. We can't go on a road trip together. Oh, yeah? Well, I was thinking the exact same thing. You and your onions. Yeah, you and your weird music. Oh, yeah? You and you! Yeah! Wait, no! How do I get out of this car? I don't know. There's no doors. I'm out of here! Will that... Will that... Ah! Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey um, what's up? Nothing, Kellen. What's up with you? Question, why are you sitting so far apart? Ah, uh, because we drive each other crazy. Oh, well... That's normal. Yeah. Well, most of the time, you guys seem to be a really good team. I mean, you're practically brothers. Yeah, that's true. Some, sometimes it feels like we do share each other's socks. Well, listen, today's lesson is gonna be a perfect reminder for the two of you. It's from a letter that was written to some of the first followers of Jesus. See, after Jesus rose from the dead, lots of people began to follow him, but, after some time, they started having some trouble deciding on what it meant to follow Jesus. You may know this letter as the book of Hebrews in the Bible. And here's what I want to share from it. Let us hold firmly to the hope we claim to have. The God who promised is faithful. Let us consider how we can stir up one another to love. Let us help one another to do good works. And let us not give up meeting together. Some are in the habit of doing this. Instead, let us encourage one another with words of hope. I can't think of anyone who could help us understand that verse better than our very own encouragement duo, Dee Dee and Jackie, the cheer squad. You ready, Dee Dee? Well, I got a question for you. <laughs> You're so funny, Dee Dee. What makes us a great team, Dee Dee? I agree. Um, hey, excuse me. Oh, yes? Jackie, it's great to see you. But where is Dee Dee? Oh, well, we decided to try our own solo cheer careers, Kellen. Oh, I didn't know that. But I can still do a cheer for you. Oh, sure, that would be great. Take it away. You ready, Dee Dee? Well, then I got a question for you. <laughs> You're so funny, Dee Dee. What makes us a great team, Dee Dee? I agree. When we are together, when we are together, our faith is stronger. We shine like we should. E-T-H-E-R can do great works. E-T-H-E-R spread hope with our words together. Hey, that was, yeah, that was different. You know, I just realized it's hard to cheer about being there for one another when I'm alone. I bet. Well, it's still great. Hey, do you mind if I check in with your sister? Oh, no problem, Kellen. Um, hey, Dee Dee, you around? Oh, that's me, Kellen. Oh, great. 
Say, I know you're trying the solo yeah. thing now, but I was wondering if you could help me out. Oh, you bet. I was wondering if you have a cheer about this verse from Hebrew. Okay. Let us hold firmly to the hope we claim to have. The God who promised is faithful. Let us consider how we can stir up one another to love. Let us help one another to do good works. And let us not give up meeting together. Some are in the habit of doing this. Instead, let us encourage one another with words of hope. You got something? Do I? I'm ready, Jackie. Uh, I've got an answer, Jackie. <laughs> I know. Well, together we, we, we could share God's love, Jackie. Oh, let's go. Can help each other. We can do more good. We are together, faith stronger. When we are together, T-O-G, T-H-E-R, brothers and sisters. T-O-G, E-E-R, brothers and sisters. Together. Huh. Okay. Um, hold on a second. Hey, Jackie. Oh, still here, Kellen. I have an idea. Since you two are trying out your solo careers, I was wondering if I could set up a collaboration. Collaboration? Yeah, it's like a mashup, if you will. A mashup. Yeah, I just get the sense that the two of you will help each other out. So why don't you cheer the cheers you just cheered? Okay. You ready, Dee Dee? I'm ready, Jackie. Well, then I got a question for you. Then I got an answer for you. <laughs> You're so funny, Dee Dee. I know. What makes us a great team, Dee Dee? Well, together we can share God's love with others, Jackie. I agree. Let's go. When we are together, we can help each other. When we are together, we can do more good. When we are together, our faith is stronger. When we are together, we shine like we should. T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R, brothers and sisters. We can do great works. T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R, brothers and sisters. Spread hope with our words together. together. Woo! That was perfect. You see what happened there? When Jackie and Dee Dee tried to do their own thing, it was okay. But it wasn't as great as it was when they were together. When we as Jesus followers decide to spend time together, work together, and cheer each other on, God shows up in the middle of it. And you know when God shows up, amazing things will happen. What do you guys think? That's cool and all, but well, what if you meet someone you want to spend time with, but you have differences? Yeah, or even disagreements. Hey, that's going to happen. But if we take the time to encourage one another, love one another, and place our hope and faith in God together, it can help all those differences fade away. God's love is powerful enough to hold us together. And that's what it means to be the church. Remember, the church is more than just a building. Good point. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, thanks for the lesson, Kellen. Anytime you need another one, you know where to find me in this pleasant, yet still unexplained bubble. Cool. See ya. John, I have a confession to make. You ate my sandwich. No. Okay. Even though we have our different traveling habits, when we spend time together, we always end up talking about some amazing stuff. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. I... When we hang out, I always walk away feeling like a better man and a better follower of Jesus, too. Ditto! Trip back on. Trip back on! All right, let's go! Hey, hey, before we leave... Oh, yeah. Reveal the question! Who 
has encouraged you? Yeah, yeah, who are the people in your life that encourage you? Yeah, these are the people you can share anything with and ask questions about God with. Basically, people who care about you and have your best interest at heart. I know someone who encourages me and loves me even though I have some annoying habits. I bet we have the same one. You think? Uh-huh, the person who encourages me the most is the lady at the dentist office who sets up the appointments with my hygienist and always tells me I have a nice smile. Oh. Yeah. Until next time, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And this was the So, so and, and So Together, okay, right. The So, so and, and So Show. show. We do this all the time. I know. The so, so and so, so show. So and so. Show and show. But now I can't even say it. This was the show so and show. show so. No. <laughs> oh no. No, that's no, it's don't no, it's good. We're good. Okay. What if we just say Goodbye? No. Oh. I was just, just this? Yeah. Alright, together. Together. Oh. <laughs> See, you had room for your toothbrush. Oh, that was great. Yep. Thank you. No problem, buddy. All right. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs>Oh my goodness, that cake. <laughs> I love that. Not just the cake part, but all that stuff about being stronger together and encouraging each other. It's so important. Keep being here, guys. You're such an important part of our church and you're so good for each other. We thrive when we're together and when we're being encouraged. Let's answer the question in our groups. I'm really looking forward to hearing the answers. So the question was, who has encouraged you? So that can be about anything, about anything that you do. Sports, maybe about your learning, about just being kind. When you didn't feel confident, maybe somebody encouraged you. But maybe it's also about God and Jesus and your faith journey or something that we've done or thought about in Uptown Kids. Pause the video, talk about it in your groups as you answer the question. Well done, guys. I'm glad you've got lots of examples of times where you've been encouraged. Now remember that you can be the people that encourage too. It's one of the most fabulous things you can do because when you encourage each other, we become stronger together. Hey, here's a challenge for you. How many uptown kids can you encourage before you go home today? And don't forget to carry on at home too. Encourage people at home. They will love it. So that brings us almost to the end of our Ready, Set, Move series. We've got one more week. But it'll look a little bit different if you're here in Debenham next week because next week is a holiday club finale because next week is holiday club. So we're looking forward to seeing you. But even if you're not coming, we're looking forward to seeing you next Sunday or whenever you're back from your holidays. But for now, in the room, we've got activities, we've got crafts. If you're joining us online, we'd love to see you next week. But let's just all pray together before we go. Dear God, we've learned so much this month about what it is to have faith. And particularly today about the strength that can be gained by meeting together and learning together and by encouraging each other. Help us to take that seriously here in Uptown Kids and to be people that are known for building each other up. Please help us with that. Amen. See you next week, unless you're away. If you're away, happy holidays. Uh, see you soon. Bye.